morning 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 welcome back to the channel welcome back to love 500 and welcome back to day three on project barry it's freezing hence the hat I like the hat italian flag I've, i'm expecting I've, I've worn this to sainsbury's i was expecting someone to say ciao thinking i was italian i don't look italian do i i'm too good looking for that anyway <laughs> enough of that i've started waffling before the video's even started let's get on with day three of the repair on this car As you can see, it is flipping freezing. It's about minus three today, all the cars, it's half past 10 in the morning, and all the cars in the road, although the sun is on them, including Katie, who's sitting out there, is um, all iced over still. This one seems to have escaped or thawed out as it's been in full sun, I suppose. Uh, but yeah, absolutely freezing, absolutely freezing. I can't do, I wanted to do body work today, but um, since we've had this cold snap over the last couple of days or so, um, obviously I can't do it in this weather. I can't really do, I, I could do filling and I could do, but I can't do pulling really, because we tried on a, on the previous car, we tried doing uh, pulling using the hot and cold glue and it just don't work in this weather. So I'm gonna go around and tidy up bits I'm going to do things like that. I'm going to have a go at that because that is, I'm not sure. I think that's paint transference and I think a polish will get the scuffing off. I can't really do the bits and pieces on the bumper because that involves paint as well. Um, and I just, yeah, you can't do it in this temperature. It's just stupid. If it was about eight, nine, 10 degrees, that'd be fine. But not sub-zero, it's just not happening. So the only thing I can do, where's the car keys? Where are the car keys? It's the right ones. I've got so many bloody car keys. The only thing I can do is get this filthy interior cleaned. I mean, this is so minging. I'm actually think, thinking, I might actually, I wasn't going to, but seeing as the state of the carpet down there as well, I think I might actually take the seats out. I won't take the rear seats. I'll take the seat as I always do. I'll take the, um, the bench out. Um, it's already unbolted anyway, as we know, but uh, I won't take that out. I'll clean that in the car, but going by the state of the carpet we know that there was so much crap on this carpet that i'm going to take these seats out clean them outside and stick them in my conservatory to dry they'll dry a lot quicker so it just ain't happening in this weather um although i do need to move this car tonight because i'm servicing a, my sister-in-law's car tomorrow so i need to get this one out of the way so i may have to put that seat back in later on at least enough to be able to move it out on the road um but we'll, we'll cross that bridge as and when so what I could do, I've got some sports seats in the garage. I could stick those in it temporarily. Might do, we'll see. Anyway, that's me thinking out loud. Let's get on. I'm gonna move this car into the middle of the drive, get all me, get all me gloop mixed up in the cleaning machine. Oh God, it's windy as well and it's so cold. And let's get on and get these clean and we'll get a transformation on these seats and that carpet. We'll come back once we've got these seats out and um, show you what it looks like. Um, just a quick update uh, on the situation with the stealing the petrol um, that I highlighted in the last video. Sorry, got distracted then. Um, I had an email back from Copart. And surprise, surprise, they've referred me to their terms and conditions. And although they did put a sentence in there about the way that the petrol was stolen, it said that this was not brought to the attention of the site manager by your uh, your transporter or by yourself. The car was transported on the 3rd and you didn't tell us until the 14th, so basically tough shit. Great, what an attitude, eh? So I am gonna email the uh, the manager. I think I think each, if I'm right in thinking, if you go to the Copart site and you go to the, uh, the actual sorry, Copart website, and you go to the actual location page of each particular site, I think it has manager's name. I'm not sure if it has an email address, but it certainly has a manager's name. So I'll think first name dot last name, I'm gonna try an email to them if it hasn't got their actual email address. Uh, and uh, I'm gonna email them directly and see if I get any response. 
Uh, it's not, um, as I said before, it's not a matter of them taking the petrol. I know that they just use their terms and conditions to, to use that as an excuse. It's the way it's been done, the wanton vandalism of the inside of a car to get that petrol out. And as someone suggested on the channel, I should actually take that plate off again and just to check, make sure everything's been put back on properly. I mean, we are assuming that, or I am assuming that that's what's been done. And I think it must be the way that they've done it, as no doubt they've done it before. I don't know, I give up. I give up with these companies sometimes. Uh, as I say, as, as I've said to people before, you know, if it wasn't for, because I only do Fiat 500s, I'm limited where, where I can go because other places don't, get, don't have enough stock. If I could get somewhere else that had as much stock uh, for me to choose from, a Fiat 500s, I wouldn't touch Copart with a barge pole. I've had enough of them, I'm, I'm, yeah. Their attitude stinks when it comes to customer service. It's pathetic. Anyway, that's enough of me ranting on about that again. Let's get on, get these seats out, get this car clean. Little bit, a uh, little bit of it done, uh, as you saw. Um, you only saw one seat plus the base getting done there because I forgot to put it on record, stupidly. Um, a little bit of a delay, actually it's not a delay for you, but uh, my mate came around, so we just uh, sat having a chinwag and a coffee for the last hour. Um, so now I need to get back on the inside. So I'm gonna do the seats first, the back of the seats, uh, so they can then obviously be drying and then, actually now I'm gonna hoover this first, get this hoovered up first, and then we'll attack the stains and it will be like a new pin by the time I finish with it. And I'll also do the boot carpet as well, actually. Um, the seats are in, I don't know if I just said that, my, the seats are in my conservatory drying and the sun, because it's a nice sunny day today, as you can see, although it's freezing cold, that will obviously help them to dry as well so uh yeah i'm not gonna be able to do much else today on this car unfortunately um i will have a little go at that bit on the back of the bumper but i'm not gonna be able to do an awful lot due to the weather because most of what i've got to do is sort of paint related dent related and i can't do that in this freezing weather so uh yeah anyway that's it for the minute i'll stick you back on uh time lapse while i continue and then um hope we well, never know the seats might even dry enough for me to put them back in the car but what i think i'm going to do in the back of my like, let me show you in the back of my garage i know i've shown you in the back of my garage before but uh, you'll like this <laughs> not a lot let's just step over things in the back of my garage so this i built this wooden extension to my garage uh, and i was going to turn it into an office stroke gym and unfortunately it never got beyond <laughs> <laughs> beyond this so let, let me just show you around show you what i've got so up there we've got uh, mainly 500x bits in there we've got an abs pump for a 500x which costs me new uh, nearly 300 quid and i've had that on ebay trying to sell it ever since and it's never ever sold so I've got all sorts of things door cards um bits of trim for a facelift bumper uh, there's that blue wing that I painted over there, which I've still is work in progress. I've got a brand new wing there. Uh, that's a radiator in that box. Uh, we've got two wings that I'm going to try and sell, the white wing and the orange wing. I've got boxes of good headlights down there, uh, pre-facelift. I've got a Blue and Me unit up there. I've got a stereo. I've got numerous fans. I've got numerous bits of um air boxes uh and over there if you remember the uh car that had all the paint splashed over it is a driver's seat and passenger seat so i think i'm probably going to put them in there for now but i do need to sell those so that's another reason for getting them out give them a quick clean and um take some photographs and put them up for sale i know they are slightly damaged but uh 
you know, there is some value in them. Uh, we have one, two, three, four steering wheels. Over there, we've got an alternator, lots of colored panels for the dash. We've got door handles. We've got horns and boot catches. We've got more lights over there. I mean, there's stuff everywhere. I cannot move in here. Two bumpers, two blue bumpers. One was brand new, freshly painted. This was a second hand one, which includes all the trim. I need to get blue cars so I can use those. So that then gets rid of them. I'm kicking a radiator and an air con condenser on the floor down here. I've got wheel trims, you name it, I've got it. And that's apart from my actual shed down the bottom of the garden, which is equally full. So <clears throat> I will be sorting this at some point. There is a lot of stuff under here. Uh, which is bits and pieces for the uh, convertible, which is still at the body shop. Um, I will at some point get to it. And then out here, which I have actually done some tidying yesterday. I spent yesterday, a few hours yesterday. I've actually got a bit of room here now. So I've sorted stuff out a little bit, but we got speedos. I got DRLs in that box. We've got seat belts in that box. We've got bits and pieces in there. We've got more bits and pieces in there got beer um just odds and ends all sorts of things bolts batteries cleaning products my little display box there which i want to move somewhere else um i still got my mug press here that was kindly given to me and the mugs and i wanted to get that done this winter i've got a printer uh, and i just have not got around to doing it i just don't find the time to do it so that's a little tour of the garage all my paints, all my various paints, nuts and bolts and all sorts of things up there. Up there we've got bulbs, we've got sandpaper, all sorts, all sorts. As you can see, I've accumulated all this stuff over the years of doing this. And I'm trying, I'm trying to sort it out to get it a bit tidier. As I say, I have cleared this bit so I can actually move here now thankfully but uh, yeah I just wanted to give you a little uh, little tour of the garage and uh, right okay now let's uh, let's get on with this we'll get all this clean inside and then we'll come back and uh, we'll discuss and decide what we're going to do for the rest of the day um, I have got the logbook through for this now so I've got the logbook for this one before I got the logbook for the other one um, and I there's about it was about a two-week gap between buying the two cars and this one's already come and I'm not going to get that one, the, the other one, until the weekend or possibly next week. Uh, they're actually producing the logbook today, according to the letter I received from them. It's very strange. But uh, I've printed out the old MOTs. Uh, it has had some main dealer MOTs, or at least one main dealer MOT. So I'm hoping from that I can then um, get some service history from it. That's what I'm hoping. We will see. Anyway, see you in a bit. Is, uh, all the seats done. Uh, I just remembered, I, I just ran out of fluid just as I was finishing off that front passenger carpet and then I realised that I hadn't uh, I hadn't done the door cards so I'm going to have to mix some more up because I was going to leave the boot one till later or another time but um, oh, it's so frothy that. I want to I see how, how filthy that is. That's going to be the filthiest it's ever been so I'm going to set my camera up by the drain and I want to show you how filthy this is going to be it's going to be absolutely disgusting then I'm going to mix some more up do the door cards and the boot carpet and then that'll be it but uh, let me just show you I won't, I won't bother filming that it's no point really but uh, let me just show you what it looks like inside now better isn't it 
much better. I've got to do the uh, the kick pad thing there, the plastic bit. I've got to give that a clean, but uh, and obviously I've got to go over all the hard plastics, which I'll do the bits that I can get to without getting in the car, because um, obviously I don't want to tread on my wet, newly cleaned carpet. What a difference, eh? What a difference. It's definitely worth taking those seats out for the effort it is. But yeah, got to do these. The other one's the worst one, just to remind you how bad it is. Look at that, absolutely filth. Right, let's uh, let's just set you up by the drain while I tip this stuff away just to show you. All right, check this out. Look at it, look at the color of it. Oh my word. There's gonna be lots of sediment in the bottom as well, isn't there? How disgusting is that? Incredible. Very frothy, this. Let's give it a rinse. Yes, my tap is pointing the wrong way. Before anyone starts <laughs> commenting on it. I know, I know. Right, let's, uh, actually you couldn't even see my tap. Yes, it points to the side. Reason being, just in case you're interested, is that um, when I tightened it up, well, there was an old tap that was broken, I put that one on and couldn't get it any, it was too loose if it was straight the other way and it was, and I couldn't get it any tighter than that. So that's why it's staying. So I, I, should, I should release the clamp and move it really, but it's been like that for probably, 10 years <laughs> and uh, it's going to stay like it so uh, yeah just, just sort of let you know that anyway um, we'll be back in a bit uh, I'm going to say I'm going to just mix up some more fluid and then uh, clean those other bits and pieces and then that'll be the end of that that's it all cleaned now all cleaned I've even gone over the plastics I haven't got in the car to do it but I've done everything that I can reach from outside so all these bits are all done both sides door cards are done they'll, they'll, they'll be gone over again I mean look how clean that is now spotless it's wet obviously uh, I need to open the windows actually um, and I need to get a seat in here so I can move this because I want to put this out on the street tonight um, as I say my sister-in-law's car is coming down tomorrow for a service so I want to get this uh, outside ideally out the way right that's that I'll be back when we get on to the next bit. I'll show if I get those, manage to get one of those sports seats in. I've got to get those out, as I said, and photograph them. They are buried, as I showed you earlier, but um, I will get them out and I will put one of them in temporarily. There's all bits over the floor. I think they came off of the cloth. There are bits of leaves over it. But um, I you see these down here, they're on almost every car that I've done. And I thought that they were like, high heels that had chipped it but someone said no actually what it is is where where people shut the uh, seat belt in the door so that could well be true i thought it was just like girls on a night out with their high heels on <sighs> was that me just being stereotypical i don't know anyway just sort of point that out but uh, i'm gonna i don't normally do it actually but i'm gonna touch those in with paint i think anyway be back uh, a bit later right time is getting on now um see how um dry the carpets up they're not too bad actually they're yeah, not too bad wetter in some places than others it's going to take a little while to dry anyway but um what i've done as i uh, was talking about earlier i've got those seats out now they have had a like a sun lounger type thick cushion on one uh but obviously the weight of them have this and that will, that will all come out I mean this is the damage as you've seen before they feel a bit damp actually this is the damage where I did it with the, with the uh, jet wash to get that paint off as you can still see there are still a few stains of paint here where I never completely got it off but they would what I was thinking with these I mean I am going to put them up for sale I want to try and see if the creases will come out first which I'm sure they will I mean this is all pushed in as well they will if I don't put a seat on top of a seat, then those will probably come out over a week or so. So that's what I'll try and do. But uh, the driver's seat, which is that one, 
I'm going to put in in there just so I can move it tonight but what I thought about using as you know as I mentioned on my pre new year um, video that I was hoping that I uh, I might do a um, a van this year when I say a van I meant a van van i.e. a Fiorino uh, now I don't think that these will fit in a Fiorino I think all the runners and everything are different so so yeah I don't know I've never had one never been in one so I don't know whether they will fit if anyone knows whether they would fit please let me know I don't think they will I think they're going to be completely different fittings um, the other thing I thought is if I was to do a Fiat 500 conversion into a van which is what I want to do they would be quite good in that because it's going to be a van as such you know I think they would look quite good and of course they will fit um, so I'm in two minds as to whether to sell them or not because obviously I don't need the back ones in a, in a van because the it will be a rear seat delete and there hopefully will be a, a plywood partition or an OSB partition yeah plywood would be better wouldn't it somehow within the car now I don't know how I'm going to do that that will be something I will have to um, attack as and when I get to it but they would be ideal because they're nice seats despite the uh, the stains stains they're not stains they're marks um, yeah let me know what you think about that should I keep them for a van stroke van conversion or I mean they are taking up room or should I um, just get what I can from I mean what would I get for them 50 quid for the pair 50 quid's 50 quid isn't it don't know what do you think what do you think they're worth let me know there you go one temporary seat I've got the engine running with the heater going try and help it uh, dry off a little bit in here and I won't, I won't worry about putting the other the, the old seats the old seats the proper seats back in until they're completely dry so I'll leave that a little while going until such time as uh, I'm wrapping up well I am wrapping up actually at the moment uh, I'm wrapping the day up because there's uh, the only thing I'm going to do now I think is I'm just going to have a go at that um, bit of um, so we are starting to lose the light now it's gone four o'clock I think so we are starting to lose the light I'm just going to have a go at that down there see what we can do with it mind you I'm right, I'm right by the exhaust pipe aren't I? I'm going to get a load of fumes never mind let's uh, I'm going to get some cutting compound on it and uh, see if it'll just come off as it is might try some IPA yeah let's give it a try see if we can get it off all right I've got it pretty much gone actually it's a tiny little bit there so it's a combination of G360 IPA and a fingernail it was plastic I think that's what it feels like but it's pretty much gone there are a few little it's not even cracks I think there's more of a if you can see it there yeah you can just about see it so that's just a scuff mark and there's a couple here as well so I reckon I don't need, I was thinking as I was doing it, I reckon I'm going to have to paint this, but I don't think I will. I think, um, again, I'm, it's me being fussy, it's right down low. Will anyone even notice it when they come to look at the car? But I like to get do it if I can. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use proper cutting compound with the mop and see if I can cut that back. I might even sand it a little bit first, see if we can sand out that scuff and then um, polish it back up again. Try and make it as perfect as we can, but it's, that's pretty good. Considering I thought I was going to have to get a new bumper, initially I mean if you stand up here you can't even see that scuffing I'm pleased with that I'm not going to go around any more of the car because of course we've got the dent that we've got to sort out yet it has warmed up a little bit this afternoon or maybe I've just been out here for too long and I got used to it but um, number plates have come actually I can put them on tomorrow uh, although tomorrow is service day on my sister-in-law's that's Project Minty as I've called it previously on the channel I'm probably not going to bother filming it I'm only giving it a service I've got to do uh, I think I've got to do brakes so I've got all the parts down here not the battery I've got the oil air filter oil filter brake pads and brake discs another set of brake discs there I collect brake discs um, it's always handy to have them if you need them save ordering them but so yeah that's that's a project for tomorrow so I'll say I may I may or may not film it I don't know yeah I wasn't really sure how much we've recorded I didn't know if we'd done we haven't really done very much if we all we've done is bloody clean the seats to be honest but uh, and most of that was on time lapse but uh, I think it's probably enough for a video if it's not then I won't you won't even see this because <laughs> I won't be using it 
if uh, if it's not if it's not enough for a video but hopefully it's enough for a video so uh yeah hopefully the weather will warm up a bit and we can crack on with that because that's the next thing to do we have still got to mess around with this bonnet and we will we will do that obviously at some time in the not too distant future with the gap there i'm quite happy with it apart from that and of course it is a little bit too far forward as we know there uh, but apart from that it's all good um, and that's the next thing to do and that to be honest apart from a service and mot is there really not an awful lot more to do got to put seats back in and give it a good clean and what have you but there's not an awful lot left to do on it so it could in theory be finished quite soon so uh, i will call it a day as i say on this one and we'll see you next week on this so uh, don't forget if you're not a subscriber hit that subscribe button up there subscribe to the channel please give us a thumbs up as well and we'll see you next time so take care stay safe and we'll see you soon